Hello, I'm Dr. Brent Gibson, and tonight I want to talk to you about electrical stimulation for peripheral neuropathy. And I do it that way because there's multiple different options, multiple things that you can actually do for electrical stimulation. Uh, you've got everything from the TENS unit with the trans-electrical nerve stimulation. You've got uh, neurogenics, which is, uses a proprietary patented process of electrical stimulation. You've got Calmare, which is scrambler therapy. You've got Hakomed. You've got Synexis. You've got, um, there's a couple more here. Uh, Revita Stim, which is a DC stimulation device. You've got the Rebuilder, which is a smart um, TENS unit. You've got the Wacassins, which actually is designed to stimulate the muscles and do electrical stimulation for gait or balance abnormalities. You've got the Quell, which is another form of home um, nerve stimulation. Now, I'm going to talk about several of these, but the point is nerves ha carry an electrical signal. They actually have an electrical, electrical signal that's being sent from nerve to nerve, and it's it travels down the axon, then releases neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitters are taken up by the dendrites, which then sends electrical signal through the dendrites to the nerve cell body and then down the axon again. And the idea is you're sending this signal from sensory organs throughout the body back to the brain, or you're sending signals from the brain, spinal cord, to the peripheral nerves, out to the muscles, out to the areas. And so the point is, is that you want these things to be working correctly. Electrical stimulation can help. It can be used to reset, to re-educate, um, or to stimulate, or even repress the symptoms depending on the type of electrical stimulation that you're doing. The point is that they work. The point is that they should be used. The point is that you wanna understand what they're supposed to do. When are you gonna use electrical stimulation? It depends on the causes of your peripheral neuropathy and what the goal is. When we're treating peripheral neuropathy, we wanna do one of four things. We wanna say, okay, is this treatment, this electrical stimulation, is it gonna repair the nerves? Typically, the electrical stimulations do not repair nerves. Number two, is it gonna re-educate the nerves? There are certain types that can actually re-educate re repair the communication, so you're improving the communication between the brain and the peripheral nerves. Is it going to reset it? Neurogenics is the best we have at doing that, where it actually depolarizes, repolarizes the nerve and causes it to start to work like it's supposed to, or is it going to repress? And the idea is you want to do one of these those four situations, and you'll make a decision based on what you're treating and whether it's going to work or not. So electrical stimulation is a valuable treatment, should be considered. And every electrical treatment that you're going to do, you need to understand what's the goal, what it's supposed, what is it supposed to do, and will it work for the types and causes of your peripheral neuropathy. This is Dr. Grant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget Day 352. Um, electrical stimulation for peripheral neuropathy. If you'd like additional information, reach out to me at theneuropathywebinar.com and you could actually get additional information, additional help so that you can truly understand how to manage your peripheral neuropathy, including what options there are electrical stimulation-wise. This is Dr. Brand Gibson.